Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning in today. My name is Kim, this is Kim's Beauty Basics. We're doing an exciting Valentine's Day makeup tutorial, so it'll be this makeup look right here. At the start of this tutorial, you will notice I did not know what I was gonna do. So this is what we ended up with. I hope that you like the look, because if you do, then just keep on watching, because the tutorial is coming right up. If you end up liking this video, hit that like button. It helps me out so much. If you also end up liking my content, then just hit that subscribe button, and then you can keep up to date with my video. And without further ado, let's just get right into this tutorial. So we're ready to do this tutorial. I know you just saw that look. Obviously I filmed that at the end. As of this exact moment, I actually don't know what I wanna film. So we're gonna build up the crease first. I'm gonna basically do my normal thing and go in with just a neutral light brown shade kind of all over. So I'm just taking a big fluffy brush to start and taking that light brown shade mainly above the crease. And now we're going in with this uh, light pink shade, which is called Rose Hip. By the way, guys, I'm using my Smashbox Photo Matte Eyes Shadow Set. All right, so going in with that pink shade, and again, we're just building it up over our crease here. And it's kind of mixing in with that brown shade that we laid down. All right, so we got a nice like light pink base going. I'm gonna be using my NYX Ultimate Brights palette. So they have a really bright pink color here, but I think I'm gonna go in with this a little bit not as punchy pink color. Just going in with that pink color and we're still just using the same fluffy brush and just blending that into the crease. We will cut the crease. Actually, we'll probably do a half cut crease so it'll clean up the edges. Building up the color slowly. It's easy to add shadow. It's really hard to take away shadow. Hopefully you guys have some really fun Valentine's Day plans because I sure don't. Okay, so we're done blending out that pink shadow. We've got a little bit of a pink look going. It's not too much. I'm gonna use my blush, which isn't pink, it's peach. It's called Bellissimo Bronze by Milani. I'm wearing it today. I love this blush. I'm gonna use that with a fluffy blending brush, a different one, and just deepen up the crease a little bit. I just love this color. It's peachy and I feel like it'll come off a little bit pinky color. And so far, I like I'm not going all the way across. I'm just like, blending it mainly on the outer half. I'm gonna place some darker brown. Let's do this chocolatey brown kind of mauve, dark mauve shade. It's called Ditch in this uh, palette here. So going back to that Smashbox palette and we're just gonna place this on the outer part of our eye here, just with a flat, I don't even know, a flat. It's almost a concealer like brush, but it just like places the color down. And I'm not blending yet, I'm just trying to get the color down. Kind of making a B on the outside, kind of not. It doesn't matter though like how neat it is because we're gonna blend the heck out of it. And I would say going like third from the outer corner of your eye basically. So next I'm taking a fluffy angled brush and I'm just gonna blend out these edges that I've created carefully without placing the color too far over or too far up. Just taking my finger and kind of just cleaning up the edge slightly. So from the Smashbox palette, I'm just using a medium brown shade now. And we're gonna take that medium brown shade and just blend the edge just to make sure it's like really blended. And I'm just using the brush from earlier because it still has the really light brown shade we used. And it just uh, helps blend everything together a little bit. And then taking the fluffy angle brush and just blending out the edges slightly so it looks a little less harsh. All right, so we're gonna cut the crease or cut half the crease basically. Um, and I'm using my NYX Wonder Pencil. I used this in my last video as well. I just thought it cut the crease really like easily and like if it's gonna make my life easier, I'm gonna use it. So it's basically like a concealer pencil. It's called a concealer, eye brightener, and reverse lip liner all in one. So this is from NYX. And I'm not going all the way across. I'm just going on the inner part going to about, I would say two thirds over at the top, but we're gonna kind of angle it down like how it is right now. So it's not gonna go straight down, it's gonna angle in. Okay, so I'm just taking a super fine, super small uh, concealer brush and just blending out the edges a little bit of uh, the Wonder Pencil and then making sure the edges and just the whole, all the concealer is like laid down and nice and flat. So we have our cut crease, guys. Now let's decide on a shadow to put on this thing. Two hours later. Okay, this is what I've decided. I'm gonna use my Stila Glitter and Glow, which is super easy. 
glitter on the go. If you are thinking of doing something a little bit different for Valentine's Day or something a little bit more amped up for you and you're not really comfortable with like doing super glam looks, this is an easy way to fake glam, like super easy to use. It stays put, so I would highly recommend you getting the Stila Glitter and Glows. They're awesome. It comes with a doe foot applicator and you just basically apply the glitter. Super simple. I have the shade Kitten Karma. This is a champagne gold glitter. We're gonna use that on the lid. On top of it, I have this L'Oreal Color Riche Pocket Palette. So it's very small, just has four shades, and one of the shades is this, like, iridescent kind of pinky color and what I think I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the shade and when I have the glitter drying I'm gonna kind of pat it on top to see if I get a little bit of a pinky glow to it is it gonna work I don't know so I'm gonna have to work kind of fast because this does dry down but basically we're gonna put this over the cut crease that we have going here gotta work fast and then I'm gonna take this pink shadow and just pat oh yeah okay it's working. And I'm just patting more, guys. Just a bigger concealer brush, and I'm just taking it to blend the edges out a bit. Even though, yes, I know we have a cut crease. But the ends aren't cut, so you just want it to blend into the brownie shadow that we have going. So, I don't know if it's picking up on camera, but it is very pink, super Valentine's Day. So we're gonna do the same thing on this side. This is like mermaid glitter, guys. So that is the cut crease. We're gonna go back to the Smashbox Shape Matters palette and we're gonna go back, let's use a nice neutral brown first. I think it's called Jolt. But anyway, we're gonna start close to the eye lash line and just with that neutral brown color and going across. Same thing with the other eye. With the Smashbox palette, I'm gonna go back in with that light pink shade and we're gonna go over that brown shadow that we just put down just to blend out the edges. So doing this a little bit lower and just blending out. This is just like an easy color to like blend out into your lower lash line. All right guys, so we're gonna go in and do one of my favorite things, which is highlight. Today I'm using my Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder, which is amazing. And this is the shade Precious Petals, which is perfect for Valentine's Day. It's a little bit of a pinky shade. I did use that to highlight today, pretty much everywhere but I haven't done under my brows yet so I'm just gonna go in with my finger because I don't know just because I feel like it I just want a little bit of like heat to like warm it up and really get a good pop under there because we have so much glitter not going on underneath it you really can't add too much highlighter here there's our highlight there let's do our inner corners so I'm gonna add some wing liner some mascara and Let's add some lashes. I'm gonna layer two different kinds of lashes, one really curly pair and one really voluminous pair to get a very curled and voluminous look. I will list everything that I use down below, so don't worry about that. But yeah, this definitely calls for some serious lashes. So I'll be right back. Hey guys, I am back. Disclaimer, I did not change eye colors again. I just popped in my TTD eye contact. I do have a discount code with them, which I will pop on the screen right here magically. These are the Queen Grey contacts, but they have tons of them online, so check them out if you're interested in color contacts, prescription or no prescription. I don't think I put on these lashes great. I feel like I look like I have a little bit of a lazy eye. Whatever. First things first, I did my Stila Stay All Day liquid liner. If you missed my video, How Not to Suck at Winged Liner or Liquid Liner, I'll link the video just down below in the description box so you can check that out. And then I went in with my tried and true L'Oreal Lash Paradise. On the lipstick, I'd use my Stila Stay All Day liquid lipstick in the shade Perla, which is a nice like nudey pink color. On top, I was gonna add my Fenty lip gloss. Couldn't find it, so I had to use my old dupe for it, which is the Forever 21 High Shine lip gloss. So this is in the shade Taupe. It's super cheap at Forever 21 if you are looking for a good gloss. But I just wanted to do a nice nude lip because with this like glam eye, I wanna do a neutral look on my lips. Also for Valentine's Day, do you really want some like big red lipstick on or bright pink lipstick on when you're eating on a date and all that stuff? Not really. I'd rather go glam on the eyes and then do a nice nude lip because as this wears off, you're not really gonna be able to tell as much and you can just pop on lip gloss without looking in a mirror. So that's why I chose to do a nude lip. And yeah, I just feel like it goes better with the whole look. On the face, I just recommend doing your normal foundation routine. And then I just made sure I highlighted the heck out of myself. So this is the finished makeup look. I hope you like it. I really do like how the eyes turned out. Using that pink shadow all over the lid obviously helped, but I really do think using my blush, the peachy blush, uh, the Bellissimo Bronze by Milani, really did help 
give a little bit more depth and I don't know, I just really like the pop of peach on my skin tone personally. I don't think I'd be anywhere without my sealer glitter and glow. I think this totally saved the look and I don't know, it just gave me a lot of inspiration. Adding the really cheap <laughs> drugstore shadow on top of the sealer glitter and glow I think was an, a great idea by me. If I do say so myself. You definitely do not need to add two pairs of fake lashes on top. You could just do your normal mascara or you could add a pair of lashes to kind of like jazz it up a bit. But overall, I really like this look. I think it's super easy. You guys watched me. I didn't know what I was going to do when I started this video. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope that you learned a little something and I hope I give you a little inspo for Valentine's Day. Even if you're doing nothing, you can still put on some cool makeup or have some fun with makeup that day and go out and do whatever you want to do. I hope you liked the video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Helps me out so much. And if you want to subscribe, that would be amazing. And if you have any questions or comments, just let me know in the comment section below. And I hope that you have an amazing day or night wherever you are. And I hope I see you very soon in my next video. I feel like I look cross-eyed for some reason. I don't know what's going on. I have a super glam look and I have nowhere to go.